What is going on, Phantom Armies? Your boy Phantom Stilton, and welcome back once again to Observer. Hope you guys have enjoyed the series up to this point. Make sure to like and subscribe. You guys are brand new to the channel, so that way you guys don't miss any new Observer gameplay as we progress through the game here. So, when we left you, when we last left you guys, we had just fell down this huge hatch uh, with Victor Madursky here, who is sort of taking on like this Wolfman persona. And uh, he's apparently dead now. He got tangled up in the wires and was killed by the voltage. So uh, that's where we are right now. I'm not sure where we're supposed to go from here, but we're going to find out. So let's see. Let's turn on our electromagnetic stuff. Reinforced skull. Hydraulic joints. Victims never had a chance. All right. So limb support implants. It's like his neural uh, implant is still intact. I forgot we actually did that last episode as well. Exposed wiring. The one thing you don't want breaking your phone. <laughs> so we actually went inside his mind last episode as well and uh, found some new clues and stuff, so that was helpful. And then we checked out his neural implant and everything. Okay. Third degree burns all over. No wonder there's anything left of him. Stab wound, consistent with a good doctor's cane. Noisy neighbors finally came face to face with the killer. Barely survived, he didn't. I should examine the body for clues. Restore power to the generator. Our little scuffle had shorted, has shorted out the generator. If I'm to get out of here, I need to restore power. Okay. The guy in 205... Okay. So we gotta restore power to a generator, it sounds like, because he shorted out everything when he fell into the wires. Let's see... And the generator might be over here. I think there's stairs. Okay, we can't use that probably until we get the power back on. <laughs> Let's see here. Use our electromagnetic vision to see if we can find the generator. Maybe the generator is what he fell onto. Let's see, here. there's a computer terminal here. We can't use that, okay. We already checked him out. match the cuts on the victims. This is definitely our man. Like everything shorted out. Hmm. What did he fall on? That's the question.
He must have fallen on the generator. to examine the body for clues. A little scuffle has shorted out the generator. If I'm going to get out of here, I need to restore power. Huh. You open this door manually? There we go. Okay. Well, something blocking that door. Alrighty. The body shorted out the generator. To get this door open, I gotta restore power. Looks like we can go down here. Okay, so this probably got us into the generator room, maybe? Let's see. Oh, here we go. It's never that simple. Okay, so we can't restore the power from there. Is there something over here? We gotta plug these back in, it looks like. Is that one. Okay. Got that. Hmm. Something else we gotta plug back in, or? fuse box Because we gotta find a fuse, it looks like. And then there. That's locked. That's locked. That's locked, okay. That's locked.
Is there a fuse on the ground in here? Did we miss it? The fuse is busted. We need to find a space. Oh, okay. Let's see. What kind of fuse do we need? Oh, so we gotta pull them in succession. Time to go. There we go. How do we get out of here? That is the question. The case log was updated, so let's take a look at that. Hiller's den is likely somewhere nearby. I have to find it. It may hold the answers to what happened to Adam. Okay. What does it say? Return to what? Which apartment was it? Basement unit 28. So, what are we at right now? We're at 42. So we gotta go back the other way. Must be down this tunnel to our right here. Of course, are the lights gonna go out? That would be, yep. Fantastic. What a place. Hard to believe anyone could live here. Oh my god, is it going to be Adam's head, dude? It's not fucking happening. 
Dad? What? What the hell? Dad, are you there? What kind of a sick game is this? Dad, I'm still alive. The head. Don't connect to it. Adam? Adam, are you there? I need your help. There's a place it's called Sanctuary. Adam. Adam. Just try to try to call me back. God damn it. Said so don't connect to the head, okay. Look at our case log here. I don't know what to believe anymore. The voice claiming to be Adam warned me not to plug into the head, but I can't afford but can I afford not to? Okay. Find Sanctuary. The person claiming to be Adam mentioned a place called Sanctuary. If there's a chance he's there, I need to find it. Okay. Okay, I can't go back through the tunnel. I can't flip these switches. Can I flip those switches? I don't think I can. Here we go. I didn't even see this on the wall. Say that? No, I'm not stuck. There's got to be a way through here. Oh my god. Easy, biggins.
Dude, where am I going, bro? This is so bizarre. This is not even funny, dude. Sanctuary. to the sanctuary salon please state your full name what for what do you need my name for customer name is needed in order to confirm a reservation where am i what is this place sanctuary salon established 2074 the salon offers top quality virtual reality experiences expertly crafted to meet our customers needs sanctuary your safe refuge in an unsafe world. Daniel Lazarski. Identity confirmed. Subscription status active. Thank you, Mr. Lazarski. Your capsule is ready. My capsule? going dude so it's a virtual reality experience apparently oh This is kind of trippy. I can't use any of my vision stuff. I can't use like the electromagnetic and all that stuff.
Am I supposed to be looking for something, or... I just hear tripping out. I have to go to the center, to this tree. Well, it's starting to move, and... Oh, there's a TV screen. Yes. I know it's hard to believe, after all you've seen, but... I need you to trust me on this. We don't have much time. What about the body I found? It's... it's complicated. What you found wasn't me. Not anymore. But I'm here, right now, and I need your help. If you're my son, prove it. How would I do that? Just try. Tell me something only we would know. No, nothing. What? When I was a child, you would sometimes wake me up before dawn. We'd go down to the river, watch the sunrise together. Hoping for that smog to clear just enough that we could see the mountains. Never happened. Of course. But we kept trying, didn't we? You were hiding here in the stacks. Yes. When they terminated my project, I hid where they wouldn't look for me. In time, I found people who were willing to help me. I managed to retrieve most of my data and carry on with my <coughs> research. Research? When were you working on? Imagine if all your thoughts, your memories, everything that defines you could be transferred into a digital realm. To exist long past your physical body. Beyond limitations. Beyond sickness and death. Beyond being human. Just to keep existing. It sounds like a living nightmare. You haven't changed, have you? I knew you wouldn't understand. But you will. Soon. I promise. The victims, the killer, how did you end up like this? When did you become this digital ghost? When the splicer came for me, I had to improvise. Managed to get out before it was too late, hoping they couldn't follow me into the web. But they could. They came after me with a virus, a hunter killer algorithm. It's eating through my defenses. If they break down, I'll be gone for good. How can we stop it? We can't. I tried masking my signature, but it was too late. If I could bust out of the building's internal network, I might be able to outrun it. So we need to lift the damn lock now. The source of the signal is well protected. It's like the mother of all firewalls. Which gives us only one option. A manual override. That's where you come in. Helena saved your research. And smuggled it out of Cairo. Yeah. So we got her killed. Yes. And Amir, too. It wasn't a part of the plan. But I had to. The project was too important, Dad. What about the surgeon? What was his angle? Yeah. Jack. He admired what I was trying to accomplish. Actually, I think he wanted to be me. Huh. I still don't see how the splicer fits into all this. He doesn't. That's why we didn't see him coming. He was an unforeseen factor. A convenient tool. And last but not least, the source. Where does the signal come from? I couldn't pinpoint the exact location, but I narrowed it down. It seems to have originated in the adjoining building. The high rise? Yeah. I think it's the epicenter of all this madness. The signal appears to be coming from the upper levels. And Dad? Watch your step. Chiron still has control over that place. And you. Not anymore. Yeah, that's what you think. The more you struggle, the harder they try and get into your head. Oh, this just keeps getting better. Darkest before dawn. Which reminds me. 
Once you get out, follow the light.